Welcome to this overview of the operation of an air-operated valve, AOV. This overview depicts an air-to-open AOV, meaning that as air pressure is supplied to the AOV, the diaphragm is lifted, which raises the valve stem and opens the valve. Conversely, if air is removed from the AOV, the actuator spring will close the valve. A complete air-operated valve, AOV, consists of the following subcomponents, a valve, an actuator, and control accessories. In this example, the control accessories are a supply regulator, a signal regulator, an I to P transducer, and a positioner. The regulator reduces the air pressure to control or actuate the valve. In some cases, multiple regulators may be used to supply the air pressure needed based on system requirements. The IP transducer converts the signal or control voltage, I, from the control system to pressure, P, which is used by the positioner to move the valve stem. The positioner provides output pressure to position the valve based on input from the mechanical feedback arm and the control signal. As the pressure under the actuator's diaphragm is increased, it eventually offsets the downward force of the spring, allowing the valve stem to rise. As the pressure under the diaphragm is released, the downward force of the spring lowers the valve stem to the closed position. For this application, the AOV includes a direct acting unbalanced globe valve. A globe valve is used to regulate flow in a pipeline. This concludes the overview of the AOV and its subcomponents. Feel free to explore the AOV as it repeatedly cycles through its range of motion. Once you are finished exploring the AOV, click on the main menu to select another task.